On February 2nd, 2023, Facepunch put out an update called the Multi-Threaded Networking Update. And while I fully intend on telling you what that all means in a future video, there is an important change that happened to your server that you may not know about. You may have found on your server one of two different situations happening. Either your server is no longer appearing on your player's favorites list, or they can't find your server at all. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix both of those scenarios, depending on which one is happening to your server. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I'm teaching you everything that you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do plug interviews and tutorials, plus I want to give you all of the tips and tools that are going to make your Rust server ownership so much easier. If you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on and to get the latest updates on the Rust development world. I'll remind you a couple of times throughout the video to hit that like button if you're enjoying what you're watching, so please remember to do so. All right, let's get on to today's video. Today's video is not at all about multi-threaded networking. However, as Facebunch is preparing for that, which by the way is claiming to have some performance gains for us. So once that actually goes into effect, obviously I'm going to go over all of those details with you. But for right now, we have to deal with the steps that they're taking at Facepunch to deal with the multi-threaded networking. So if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you've probably already seen this batch file template that I've used on literally hundreds of videos before. And this is the section right here that I want you to pay attention to because this is where the change is happening. So you're all used to seeing the server port, the archon port, and the app port all being defined in your batch file. However, now we actually have to add another CVAR called server.query port. So for brand new server owners, servers that are being set up after February 2nd, 2023, or servers that don't have a player base, anything like that, this is a setup that you can go with right now. All you have to do is add server.query port and then whatever port you want to be defined as your query port, and you'll be good to go. Once you make this addition, save your batch file, restart your server, you'll be good to go. You'll start appearing on the Rust server directory again. But for those server owners out there that had an existing player base that probably got messages in their Discord saying, hey, we can't find your server server anymore, what the hell is going on, there's a bit of a tweak that you have to make when adding this query port. So I want you to picture what is actually behind a favorited server. There's going to be an IP address with a port number associated with that. And for most single server owners, that port number is going to be 28015. So if we go in and just add a query port of 28014 or 28016 or whatever, that's obviously going to make it so that that bookmark or that favorited server is no longer valid anymore. So it won't even show up on that list. However, if your server was on 28015 before February 2nd, all you have to do is make it so that your server query port is 28015 and make your server port something else. So this server that you see right here, that's exactly how this was set up. So I had an IP address with 28015 as my server port. So if I were to save this batch file right now and boot up this server, it would show up in the Rust directory, but it wouldn't show up on my own personal favorites list because I have 28015 on my favorites list. So what I suggest you do is just make your query port whatever your server port was before. So in my case, I can just change my query port to 28015 and make my server port 28014 or something else. It doesn't really matter. Now with these two changes made, making my server port now my query port and then adding another port for my server port that was already there before. Now everyone that had this server on their favorites list, it's now going to appear back there for them. So now I can save and boot this server and nothing will have changed as far as the server is concerned, but everyone that had this server bookmarked, which is going to be nobody because it's just a test server that I use for making videos on. But if someone did have it bookmarked, it would now show up again on their favorites list. Sorry, I'm saying bookmarked and favorites and I'm kind of mixing up the two, but you get the point. So I was actually really surprised on wipe day when so many people were messaging me, telling me that none of their players could find their server and it wasn't showing up on any of the Rust server directories. So I actually have to apologize. I probably should have done an update on this heading into this update as opposed to two weeks after it. But I really did think that that information was out there and it wasn't going to be an issue. That's my bad. So obviously I've shown you how to make these changes for a local host server or a server that you have direct access to the console and the batch file like I just showed you. So if your server is hosted with a shared server or some other method of managing a dedicated machine, you may actually have to let your server host know that these changes need to be made and that you would prefer to have your server port exchanged with your query port so that as far as your players are concerned, nothing has changed. As far as I know, most of the hosting services were already working on this heading into that update anyway. So I guess for most of the hosts, this probably wasn't an issue, but I do know that the locally hosted servers definitely got left behind on this one. But if you're paying a host to host your server and you're finding that this is the case, either it's not showing up on your favorites list or it's not showing up at all, this is what the problem is. You have to let them know. 
And just to show you that I'm not full of a bunch of malarkey, I'll actually show you on my screen. So I just searched for SRT Bull, which is what's in the name of both of my test servers. And this one right here with the 69 player slots is the one that we just set up. This other one that you see here is set up with icetoast.com. Obviously the query port and everything like that was already set up long before that February 2nd update anyways. So I never had an issue with that one. I needed to make the change on this one right here. I absolutely love bringing you all these shorter type videos, but if you'd like to check out a longer form video where you're going to learn even more, check out this video on the left hand side of the screen. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, click down there. And if you want to support what I'm doing here at Rust Admin Academy, click on that Patreon button right down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one.